to have you here. Is that a Ramon shirt you're wearing there, yeah, Lily? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Right. Good hit. I like that. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How's everything? We're I doing so great. We don't, we're you. kind of far apart from Do each other. Do you feel other. uncomfortable when you're far apart now that you work together so much? You're yeah. You're practically we can joined at the hip. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like that. That's better. Better. Much, yeah. be <laughs> much better. When you guys started working together, did you become friends? Were you friends beforehand or no? Well, we, we haven't quite become friends You yet. haven't yet. Maybe it'll happen tonight. <laughs> Do you still feel like you're learning things about each other five seasons in? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I am fascinated with her because she's, she's... Somebody asks a question and I get ready to answer it really bo boring, and she always says something really funny. Nice. I'm just... I cannot believe the funny bone that she has. And I, I, I have loved her from the moment I... Listen, listen, she has been un <laughs> <laughs> She has been unbelievable. She told a story uh, earlier this <laughs> she, <t> she told a story earlier today that was outrageous. Really? It had to do with like a cockroach and You're not gonna tell that story and now. some private parts. Really? That's a cockroach? A no, no, nothing. I'm Why not are you talking about it? I can't get over it. <laughs> Well, if you no, want no, to no. share it, please. Next question. Yeah, <laughs> move on. Well, you know, it is true. You do have a, your brain is like lightning. It really is amazing. It's Lily. not. It it's is. so slow. <laughs> no, I don't want to be put up against anybody. You are obviously a comedy legend. There's no two ways about it, whether you like it or not. That's true. I mean, I. You know, uh, in our family, you were one of our all-time favorites. There's yeah, no was, question about that. Back in the early 70s. All the way through. The standard was very low. <laughs> <laughs> the standard was not low, and in fact... Pretty low. One of the one of the stories I, I've, I heard about, I always wanted to ask you about, is Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor did one of your variety shows yeah. back in the 70s, right? He did two of them. Two of them. So how did you and Richard Pryor come together? Because at that time, you guys were doing... Very different stuff. <laughs> well, only, only, only separated by a little bit of language. Yes, maybe. yes. Well, that was a big thing back then. Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but it was natural to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had the cre credibility for it. Yeah, if I was, if I used a lot of language, it would be kind of like, uh, you know, it wouldn't have been as accepted. Go, go sit down someplace and. So, but didn't he see you and wanted to meet you? And work with you? No, not terribly. No, I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. Best here. <laughs> <laughs> it was the other way around. I adored Richard. Uh -huh. I'd seen him at the Improv, you know, and uh, and so then as soon as I got a special, I said, well, I want Richard Pryor to be on the special. So I called him up and tried to get him to come on the special, and I'm sure he's thinking, well, I got to check this white, you know, girl out, and so he, he said, that, okay, we'll spend the day together. And oh, I really? Said, oh, okay. I, nice. That was great. That was good because uh, I, uh, I had the, you know, I had the cachet of being on Laughing, which was a big hit show. Yeah. And all the people in the neighborhood loved me. I see. So <laughs> you were accepted by his community. Yeah. yeah. And so we went down to the neighborhood, and he, and I, of course, I lived in the neighborhood when I was growing up in Detroit. He had them vet you, the, his they neighbors, kind of to kind me. of decide whether or not you were gonna. <laughs> Do right. something he, together. He kind of vetted me. He did. <laughs> and so then he like he's thinking, well, I don't know how she got through that one so slick, but uh, so he, then he challenged me to go to a porno movie. <laughs> That's it. Is, is it true? Yeah. <laughs> and That's I quite said, a okay. challenge. I said I will go, but I'll pay my own way. <laughs> <laughs> And you went to a theater. Yeah. And we went to a we went to a porno movie and we sat there and we watched it and everything like that. Do you that, remember the movie? Yeah, it was kind of had like medical, like, you know, it had like some kind of medical uh, underpinnings to somebody it. Somebody playing doctor. What? Playing doctor? Like somebody was playing doctor? <laughs> no, no, they were I don't know what they, I can't remember. It's 50 years ago, for God's sake. Sir. It was 40, black and white and the people. It were was 48 and they had black socks on and they had a little mask on. <laughs> it was uh, no no, it was like a it was a bona fide porno movie. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Why, he was testing you to see if you were game? I guess. I guess he was. And you were, I guess, huh? Did you it stay for the whole a thing? thing? My brother had shown me porno movies when I was, and I'm three years older. He'd shown me them when he was like 12. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They, Where'd he boys get them? They always get their hands on something. Yeah, we're good at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like a magic power we have somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a divining rod. We somehow find it. <laughs> wow. Yes, indeed. Jane, have you ever been to a porno movie in a theater? <laughs> yeah. You have? Yeah, yeah. I paid to see Deep Throat. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Was it because it became such a sensation? Yeah. You wanted to see what was going on? Right. Yeah. Right. Who'd you go with? My husband. OK, well, I don't know. Maybe it was Richard Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Flip Wilson decided that was he later. wanted. That was later. <laughs> wow, how about that? And did people notice that it, you and they see Jane Fonda going into Deep Throat? They were going into Deep Throat. They didn't look around. And see <laughs> 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 Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda are here. Their show is called. What Grayson. I didn't like was what? that that Linda Lovelace, who played the lead in it, looked like an ex-girlfriend of my husband. Oh, really? <laughs> So I didn't like the movie very much. <laughs> wow, no. that's, uh, that's uh, something else. Well, well, we... <laughs> we're going to take a break and recover from all the porno talk. We'll be right back with Jane and Lily. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.